Good afternoon. My name is Emma and I'd like to take these first few moments to show you a short film. The series? My mom got me the perfect bag for back to school. These health providers help me stay organized. These headphones are just what I need for studying. Today, I stand before you to address an urgent matter. I stand before you to address an urgent matter that affects the very fabric of our society. The imperative of securing our schools to prevent the heart-wrenching affliction of school shootings. According to recent data from the Gun Archive, there have been 135 school shootings in the United States in the past year, leaving 89 students and educators injured or killed. These are not just numbers. They, are rep they represent lives shattered and communities forever changed. First, I would like to provide you with an example of just how crucial it is that we act now for this cause. Right here, I want to just take a second to show you a graph of the rise in um, school shootings since the year 1970, and it's pretty drastic. According to Cal 12 Dive, school shootings are on the overall rise for decades. They have broken last year's record high at 306 shootings with just under two months left to go in the year. This statement was posted in November of this year. The frequency and severity of these incidents have, have created a climate of fear, impacting the lives of students, parents, and educators nationwide. We can no longer turn a blind eye to the devastating consequences of school shootings. The first thing I'd like to touch on is the emotional trauma that's left behind from disasters like school shootings. Beyond the immediate casualties, the psychological toll is immeasurable, with survivors and communities grappling with trauma long after the headlines fade. The mental scars endure, leaving a lasting impact on the well-being of those directly and indirectly affected. So what changes can we make? To curb this e epidemic, it is crucial to implement a multifaceted approach to school security, incorporating both preventative and, in, and responsive measures. We must invest in state-of-the-art surveillance systems, metal detectors, and controlled access points, which as a, act as effective deterrents and provide an additional layer of protection. According to the, the TRACE, Tennessee's U.S. Senators Marsha Blackburn and Bill Haggerty introduced a bill in, the, in late March 2023 that would provide $900 million in grants to schools that, that can hire more school security personnel. If passed, the law would let states decide whether to arm officers. But what more can we do to ensure school safety? The object of the goal is to prevent a school shooter from ever entering the building. So how do we do that? By keeping all exterior doors locked and secure, Installing, installing extra layers of security at each entrance. For example, bulletproof doors and windows and surveillance cameras on the exterior would be a great benefit to school safety. In the event that the shooter makes it into the building, using bulletproof doors, barriers, and hallway barriers can prevent the shooter from making it to any of the classrooms. Having a silent alarm system to enact the hallway barriers and to notify police in case of an emergency would also improve security. These safety measures should be required in all schools across America. Public schools, private schools, charter schools, 
all schools. Hector Vallejo, Chief Revenue Officer for SFG stated, unfortunately, many schools still lack the necessary resource guidelines and best practices to protect their premises. The good news is that schools have the federal government as well as state and local grants. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. The good news is that schools have access to multiple funding programs from the federal government as well as state and local grants. So, I would like to take another look at another resource that schools can implement to create a safer environment for their students and staff. Prioritizing mental health resources within schools is essential for identifying and addressing potential threats at an early age. And we must equip educators with the tools to recognize such signs of distress and provide the necessary support. In four out of five school shootings, at least one other person had knowledge of the attacker's plan but failed to report it. This was posted by the Sandy Hook Promise website. Fostering a culture that destigmatizes de mental health issues is equally crucial. By doing so, we empower students to seek help, reducing the risk of untreated problems escalating into violence. Let us create an environment where seeking mental health support is a sign of strength, not weakness. Encouraging open communication channels ensures that students, teachers, and staff let feel comfortable reporting concerns without fear of retaliation. We must establish a culture where everyone plays a role in maintaining a safe and <clears throat> secure learning environment. Strong trusting relationships with school communication create a network of support that can act as an early warning system helping to identify the signs and warnings of a potential threat. Open lines of communication foster a sense of community where individuals are vigilant and caring. Excuse me. According to the Sandy Hook Promises, 17 facts about gun violence and school shootings. In 2022, 34 students and adults died while more than 43,000 children were exposed to gunfire at school. There is help for victims and survivors of gun violence. <clears throat> the consequence of not taking decisive action, actions are too grave to ignore. We have a moral and societal obligation to protect the lives of our children and education. Our inaction perpetuates the cycle of violence that echoes through generations. <clears throat> Without intervention, the cycle of violence and trauma will persist, affecting generations to come. We must act now to break this cycle and create a safe future, <clears throat> safer future for our children. In conclusion, the urgency of securing our schools is undeniable. By investing in comprehensive security measures, prioritizing mental health support, and fostering open communications, we can break the cycle of violence that plagues our educational institutions. Let us stand together, united in our commit commitment to safeguarding our schools and ensuring that every child has the right to learn without the contrast or constant specter of violence. The time to act is now. Thank you.